you have the highest IQ in America. Did you know that? What? <laughs> Did you know that? Go what? Ahead. <laughs> I am being played here. I hydrogen monoxide is a fancy yes, Rick. Water. You are correct. It is water. Oh, yeah. He's taking I'm, his clothes off. Here. He's taking his clothes off. Don't worry. They're not all that hard. Let's meet our genius contestant, who is on alcohol currently, Rick Rosner. Welcome, Rick. Hey, nice to be here. You have the highest IQ in America. Did you know that? What? <laughs> Did you know that? Going what? This? <laughs> Rick! I am being played here. Sorry. Bro. What is this hustle? You also, I heard, got uh, 12 years worth of college credit in one year. I tested out of a lot of stuff. So you have been drinking today. Yeah. What have you been drinking? Uh, vodka and cranberry. Ooh, that used to be my drink, Tastes vodka nice. crayon. <laughs> nice, and also prevents uh, UTIs. Do you get a lot of UTIs? I was doing squats upside down, and it, it pushed the pee back into me. I, it's normally a girl <laughs> disease, but it somehow... Sorry, I'm still stuck on squats upside down. All right, there was, there was a, at my old gym, there was a, this upside down squat rack. Oh, yeah, you, where you push. Where you, you push. get on your back and you go like this and. It, it's great for your butt. And it squeezed the pee back into me. All right, well, we're glad you came out of it. <laughs> what gas has the atomic number of one on the periodic table? Yes, Rick. Hydrogen. You are correct, hydrogen. Nitrogen has the atomic number of seven, oxygen has eight, and phosphorus has 15, in case you wanted to know other fun facts. Hydrogen monoxide is a fancy, yes, Rick. Water. You are correct, it is water. Oh, yeah, he's taking I'm, his clothes I'm off. Here. He's <laughs> taking his clothes off. Don't worry, they're not all that hard. A traditional screwdriver cocktail combines vodka with what other yes, Rick? Orange juice. You are correct, OJ. You know, if you add peach schnapps to that, you get a fuzzy navel. Also another 70s drink. We were talking about 70s drinks earlier. I lost my virginity, right? No shit, it was 1980. <sighs> Almost in the 70s. Oh. <laughs> in Roman mythology, who is the god of wine? A, Bacchus, yes? That guy, Bacchus. You are correct, it is that guy, Bacchus. And Bacchus was the god of wine, agriculture, fertility, and the theater. Probably fertility and wine, because once you drink so much wine, you're down to fuck, you know? Unless you get wine dick. What's wine dick? I think I mean, it's I like can whiskey deduce. dick, except it takes like three times as much wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back, Dr. Nicole Holliday. How are you? Hey. Nicole uh, is back on our show, and you're out for blood, I heard. Oh, yeah, no. Fuck this dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost about vice presidents last time, and, mm -hmm. like, I can't let that happen again. I get it. So Are you so this nervous, dude? Great. You I know mean, what else, too? I hate great. cheese because I'm lactose intolerant. Wow. So, like, I really want to take him down. This is real. <laughs> we are not vibing here. I and mean, also, she looks angry. <laughs> to make you even more nervous, you've also appeared on some television trivia shows. Shows, right? It's a true story. Yeah, I was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I've been on The Chase. I was on NPR. Ask me another if you like public radio. Yes, I do. Go ahead and catch that. In E.L. James's Fifty Shades series, which I know both of you read, <laughs> yes. the main characters Christian and Anastasia began as characters in the author's fan fiction for what? Yes! Twilight. You are correct. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is a fun fact I learned recently that Christian and Anastasia were based on erotic fan fiction for Twilight based on the characters Edward and Bella. On TV's Family Guy, who is the mayor of Quahog, Rhode Island? A, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nicole. Adam West. Correct! Yes! <laughs> Did you have any idea? None whatsoever. <laughs> wow. And you were like, oh, she's a genius, but she's not gonna know about pop culture. That's what you're thinking, I right? said that in confidence to you, and so that was pretty weird that you brought <laughs> it up right now. He said a lot of things in confidence to me, and I'm gonna tell you all of them, America. <laughs> According to a book by Douglas Adams, whoa, you don't even know the rest of it, but answer me, Griffin. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. God, I really gotta stop doing that. According to a book by Douglas Adams, what is the answer to life? the universe, and everything. A, love, B, dolphins, C, travel, D, 42. 42. 42 is correct, and yes, the book was The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Allison. Galaxy. What? I have a tattoo from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a babblefish. 
That's amazing. It's a mythical fish that can translate all the languages because I'm a linguist. That's amazing. That makes sense. Name as many sovereign African nations as you can. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Democratic Republic of the Congo, Republic of the Congo, Central African Republic, South Africa, Lesotho, Swaziland, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Malawi. Um, I knew all these. I was going to say Lesotho. Ghana, Togo, Lesotho, Benin, 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 Mali, 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 of course. Uh, <laughs> we can do Senegal. this all day. Senegal, of course. Everyone knows Senegal. Um, Zambia, Zambia, Gambia, Gambia Guinea, 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 Guinea Bissau. Way. Did I say Egypt? Egypt, of course. Wow. Sudan, South Sudan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No need to kick me when I'm down. I right? have one follow-up question now, which is how dumb do you feel? <laughs> I, I feel as smart as when I walked in here. Just so like pretty average. dumb. Yeah, just okay, like right okay. Now. I don't know. What am I supposed to know, Sue? That was amazing. Jordan, you had six points. Nicole, when we stopped counting, because you were still going, you had 41 points. Please welcome Rob Cave. How are you feeling, Rob? Pretty good. Pretty good. He didn't even have that accent before, so. <laughs> uh, what are you drinking there? I'm drinking uh, Guinness. Wow, I don't think I've ever gotten tipsy off of Guinness, Rob. I've, I've had a Guinness, but never just like more than one at a time. You gotta put the practice in. Yeah, where, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from London. You are a writer, researcher, author, editor, uh, you wrote a book about rocket science, yep. right? Stop bragging. We get it. You're smart. <laughs> uh, what's that book called? Uh, why it's not all rocket science. Oh, great. Why isn't it all rocket science? Because there's a lot of other science that isn't about rockets. <laughs> well, how are you feeling right now? Do you know how many of those you've had? Um, I haven't been counting. Uh... Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> On Game of Thrones, what is the house sigil of House Lannister? Yes, Ryan. Rob. Wow. You just knew that. What is a Game of Thrones fan called, a throny? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna go with throny. In a classic Monty Python sketch, John Cleese complains to a pet shop owner about what, yes, parrot. you are correct, well. Maurice, have you seen that sketch with the dead parrot? I've not seen the dead parrot one. <laughs> Written in lowercase, which letter in the word title contains a tittle? Yes, I. Rob. I, you are correct, it is I. Oh, I gotta love those tittles, right? I love me some tittles. I love to cup those tittles. I love to feel those tittles. <laughs> You're the one making it dirty, guys. I'm saying tittle. A tittle, by the way, is the little dot above the I, also found in a lowercase j. Learning something all the time here, guys. Tittle. Show me your tittles. <laughs>